is testament to that story from last year. And and again, that's you know the, it, it, we were last season. That the last mm. season was Arsenal's season. I know Man Man City won the treble, but what were people talking about last year? It, it was us. Uh, and I think that what you saw, even though we haven't ended up with a trophy in our hands, we we ended up with players that see the project that we're building and, and want to be a part of it. You know, I'm still waiting for this new Liverpool project that they say they're, they're building. You know, which currently just consists of Sobersly and, and McAllister, but. Mm. You know what we're what we're doing and what we're realizing is that we've got a lot of these players that are in positions, you know, whereby they can they can join any team they want, and they're choosing us, hmm. you know. And the reason why is I, I really feel is because you know we're being able to 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 attract these players through the the, the games that we're playing in those moments, and even just down to the stadium atmosphere, you know, it's a different vibe now when you come to the Emirates. Do you think that's a testament due to Mikel Arteta and do what they built? Because a few seasons ago, when we were finishing eighth, a lot of fans were critical of Mikel Arteta. They kept saying, is he the right man for the job? But I think a lot of Arsenal fans didn't understand this was going to take time. This project was going to take time to evolve and go bang. As yeah, it did. I, so, yeah, exactly. He did. He said it was going to go bang. And, and look, it, it has. I think it's a, it's a combination, you know, I'm lucky enough to be able to chat to chat to uh, like a few people at the club that you know quite high up and and what you realize is that it's it's not just it's not just Mikel and it's not just Edu it's all of them from mm. from the top um from the top down that want to invest in this new attitude and in this new you know and I mean that even all the way up to to the Cronkies you, you know they they truly want to create that atmosphere and they want to build the club to a place where it feels scary to go there as another team because you're looking at how close we all are. You know, as a fan base, I feel we are actually very close to the club. I think the club listen to what we, we want, um, you know, as fans. And, you know, even down to like, I don't know, like even the, the adverts that we're making these days. I mean, obviously yeah. I'm biased because my dad was in the last <laughs> advert. But, but, <laughs> but, you know, it, 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 was, it, it feels like we're really in touch with one another. And, and I think that's a, a thing that, you know, I think at that moment, that transitional period that we have from Unai to, to here, whether or not it was, you know, before that being the Ivan Gazidis kind of era and then mm. moving, you know, that was, this has all kind of come at the right time. And it's, it's become a really nice marriage between everyone from the club, in the club top down. You spoke about the fact that you were in the States. I saw a nice little picture of you having dinner yeah. <laughs> with all the Arsenal CEOs without going <laughs> too much into detail. How was it? How was it? Yeah, man. Um, it's, do you know, it all started because I uh, I went, um, I was lucky enough to get uh, um, Vinay, the, the CEO, invited me down to, to go and um, watch the Brighton game at home. And it was the worst game I've seen us play all season, right? We just looked yeah. so tired. It was it was awful. And I and I ended up being pictured sat next to company um in that game. And I was in the stand sat next to company and everyone thought I was gonna be the Burnley assistant manager. <laughs> and everyone's saying it was the weirdest mashup ever. Um, you know, what out of context Premier League straight away was all over it. Um and I think that, you know, from there I just I don't know, like like, you know, we chatted a lot and and you know they ended up saying to me, do you want, do you want to come out and watch a game in the States? And I was like, yeah, let's go. And, you know, meeting the guys there and the, the team are, that are behind it, you know, as I say, I, I'm not getting on with them just because yeah. the status they're in. I'm getting on with them because they love the club, you yeah. know, and we went to watch the game and we ended up, you know, going to Lee Dixon's bar afterwards. And, and it was, it was really nice. And everyone just has that same goal. You know, we all love the game and, and, and I like hearing about the ins and outs of it. 